Hi everyone, so let's move towards our today's topic which is Let's supply of spinal cord but before that you have to listen the lecture you have to watch the lecture of the blood supply of brain because be before understanding this topic you have to watch that lecture if you are able to understand that then it will be easier for you to memorize the blood supply of the spinal cord okay now we have studied in the blood supply of the uh, brain that vertebral arteries uh, two vertebral arteries from left and right uh, subclavian arteries arises and they will run in the transverse process of the cervical vertebrae and they will enter into the foramen magnum and they will unite together to form a basal artery and then it will supply to the brain now vertebral arteries are vertebral arteries right and left are running are passing through the transverse process of the cervical process uh, cervical segment of the spinal cord okay now we have studied as we know that there are five segments of the spinal cord cervical thoracic lumbar and sacral and coccygeal okay now cervical segment ke hum pehle pad lete hain now cervical segment mein hota ye hai ki jo vertebral arteries pass ho rahi hain wahan se posterior spinal artery will arise and anterior spinal artery will arise posterior spinal artery will move and run posteriorly whereas anterior spinal artery will run anteriorly to the spinal cord medullary branches will also arise which will supply as the name indicated will supply to the medulla oblongata okay now these posterior spinal arteries and uh, anterior spinal arteries are present in each intervertebral uh, inter, uh, foramen okay and in each intervertebral foramen there are uh, posterior and uh, anterior spinal arteries okay which are supplying in that foramen but 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 the remaining segments of the spinal cord are supplied by radicular arteries and spinal arteries now what are these arteries now spinal arteries remember this point that in each segment of the spinal uh, cord in each uh, area in each part between the as you know that between two vertebrae there is an area called as a intervertebral intervertebral foramen so in the each intervertebral foramen of the whole spinal cord there are some arteries called as spinal arteries okay to supply the spinal cord simple now these spinal cord spinal arteries are connected with the vertebral artery because vertebral artery is, on, is only present in the cervical segment so they have to ascend to the up, uh, up, uh, up to ascend upward uh, in the uh, vertebral artery so for that purpose radicular arteries are present which are basically connected with those with those spinal arteries and then they will ascend upwards and they will connect with the vertebral arteries so in other words radicular arteries are connecting the vertebral artery and the spinal arteries okay to supply the lower region of the spinal cord so this is the main thing you have to remember in the blood supply of spinal cord